Now available in paperback and Kindle, All About Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get All About Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. Mainstream media such as your BNC News and your Jimmy Kimmel Live have been making some statements about Bill Cosby that are clearly unsubstantiated. Now, according to your BNC News and your Jimmy Kimmel, they have made the statement that Bill Cosby has said that R. Kelly was railroaded in his federal trial. However, that statement was never made by Mr. Cosby. In fact, that statement was made by Mr. Cosby's publicist. And Mr. Cosby's publicist made that statement on his own and was not told by Mr. Cosby in any way to make any statements regarding himself as related to the trial of R. Kelly. Now, what's going on here as related to Mr. Cosby is a continuing and ongoing campaign by those in the mainstream media to slander and malign the name of Bill Cosby because these people in the mainstream media do know how journalism works and you do need to go out here and have a confirmed source for your information before you go out here and present any sort of statement to the public. And it would be very easy for those in the mainstream media like BNC News and your Jimmy Kimmel to go out here and find out if this was a statement released by Mr. Cosby. But they didn't want to go out here and do that kind of research because what they want to do is continue pushing and promoting the campaign that your Bill Cosby is a sexual predator and they want to continue promoting this narrative by trying to associate Mr. Cosby's name with your R. Kelly who was recently convicted for several federal charges as related to sex trafficking and they want to go out here and demonize the name of Bill Cosby by trying to connect it with R. Kelly. Now, this is the clearest form of yellow journalism, and this yellow journalism definitely has a racist edge to it because it's looking like they're trying to demonize Mr. Cosby as not only a black brute like they have continued to do as related to these already proven to be unfounded sexual assault and sexual violence claims, but now they are trying to associate and correlate Mr. Cosby's name with a known sexual deviant like R. Kelly. Now, when it comes down to your R. Kelly, he clearly did not get a fair trial if you look at the evidence. Now, I do not condone or support anything that R. Kelly has done as related to his sexual deviancy, but I do stand up for his rights as an American citizen under our United States Constitution. And under our United States Constitution, a man is supposed to have a right to a fair trial, and he is supposed to be able to get a trial that is not filled with bias. And when you look at the whole case as related to your R. Kelly, there the, the whole case is really based up on a lot of trumped up things where they go out here and use the Mann Act and talk about um, sex trafficking. And this is a law that was originally used to go after Jack Johnson. And then there were other racketeering charges that make absolutely no sense. Now, in the case of these racketeering charges, it just makes no sense because racketeers like those in organized crime are looking to make a profit. But when you look at R. Kelly's whole financial situation, he is in $2 million in debt. So how can a man be in a racketeering situation if he has no financial statements to prove that there was some sort of profit as related to his racket? That's a critical question I have to ask as related to the case 
of R. Kelly and this conviction because this conviction overall seemed to be very suspect. But most people were caught up in their feelings about R. Kelly as related to these alleged charges of so-called sex trafficking. But when you look at the facts of the case, these prosecutors went out here and tried to go out here and try his case using evidence as related to the late Aaliyah. Now, how can a person who has been dead for 20 years go out here and be seen as a victim when they cannot testify for themselves? And that's another critical question people aren't asking because they just get caught up in their feelings about things because the case, like Mr. Cosby's, was tried in the court of public opinion. And what they're trying to do now by trying to associate R. Kelly's name with Bill Cosby is they're trying to go out here and trying to further malign the name of Mr. Cosby as related to this whole incident. But again, this is another case of slander because for people to say that this was Mr. Cosby's words, I have to ask another, another critical question. Where is the official press release that says that Mr. Cosby said Robert Kelly was railroaded, one, and two, where is a video that states that Mr. Cosby said that Robert Kelly was railroaded? Answer those two critical questions and you'll see why this whole case is completely unsubstantiated and this media tear is just shows, again, more media bias because this type of statement, again, you have to have hard evidence to substantiate it and you need hard evidence to present to say, okay, Mr. Cosby said this, you need to have either one, an official press release, or two, you need to have a video or audio statement that says that where Mr. Cosby in his own words makes that kind of statement, otherwise you cannot prove that he said this and if you cannot prove he said this, then that is slander if it's gone out here and said, and it's liable if it's printed. And Mr. Cosby has every right to sue platforms like your Jimmy Kimmel Live and ABC if they did go out here making these kinds of statements. And this is why you, when you're going out here and participating in journalism, like your BNC News alleges it does because now they're liable to be sued for the opinions they presented. They can, they can, these claims cannot be, again, if you cannot substantiate them, you do not say a word about them because this is the type of media that can lead to you winding up in a lawsuit. And your BNC News has taken another low as related to journalism because I watched that entire video statement where these so-called journalists went into opinion and they went out here mocking Mr. Cosby as related to statements that had never been made. And that is one of, again, the more troubling things about your so-called BNC News, which is supposed to be for black people. Your BNC News is opinions of whoever is owning the platform and they are not presenting objective journalism. No, an objective journalist is like your Nicole's Views, who went out here and got the statement on Instagram from Bill Cosby's official Instagram, which where Mr. Cosby says that this was his publicist's statement and not his own. That is objective journalism because, one, she has a piece of hard evidence from Mr. Cosby's social media, and she has hard evidence to prove that this was not said. Meanwhile, your mainstream media platforms are showing us why legacy media is not being taken seriously or seen as credible in comparison to new black media, where individuals are going out here getting the information from legitimate sources and presenting the information straight from those legitimate sources to the public so that they can go out here and get the facts regarding these cases. And that's what a journalist is supposed to do, present the facts and then let the public decide how they can, as related to what is presented, 
And it's a shame that our mainstream media, which we supposedly trust with this whole effort to give us journalism, is not giving us journalism. No, they're giving us yellow journalism to demonize a man who has already been proven in court to have been acquitted of these crimes with the overturning of his conviction. And this continued campaign just shows, again, malice of forethought from those in the mainstream media regarding Mr. Cosby and regarding Mr. Cosby's reputation, which they continue to try to malign and continue to try to tarnish. Because, again, if Mr. Cosby was to have made a statement, he would make a statement through his publicist. He would make a statement through platforms where he would be on himself face to face. And if you did not hear it from Mr. Cosby's publicist, or you did not hear it from himself, then you cannot substantiate this. But I see what happens here with social media. They take what somebody else said without going out here to do their research into the source. And that's why we have this firestorm of controversy regarding Mr. Cosby. But Mr. Cosby never said anything about R. Kelly's case. And he's never said anything at all about this case. So I look at this whole campaign as another effort to demonize Mr. Cosby's name, trying to associate him with sexual predation. And if I were Mr. Cosby, I would be out here getting ready to file lawsuits against your BNC News and your Disney, who has Jimmy Kimmel's show or their production company, and even Mr. Kimmel personally, because this is completely inappropriate to go out here and try to make these camp these statements, because unless you have facts to substantiate your case, you have no right to say that this man said something he never did. Even if you got it off social media, you need to go out here, do the research, and look for the sources of that information so you can present facts to people. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my positive black fiction on the SJS Direct imprint, such as the ISIS series, the e Steam series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, you can find all those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for pre-order on Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Pre-order your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace on Kindle today.